Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to MWO Showdown, the exclusive online show all about the Michigan wrestling organization. With the Cody Leedy, I'm your old buddy Hal. We thank you so much for watching here exclusively on YouTube.com and MWOonline.net. And Cody Leedy, breaking news this week in the Michigan wrestling organization as reporting on www.mwoonline.net it would it would appear that the MWO at least temporarily has a brand new home arena well that's certainly good news Hal ever since the tragedy of Terry's lounge MWO has been seeking a new place to call its home it's looking like it's going to be the bridge Hal absolutely the MWO has struck a 12 show deal Cody Leedy with the bridge in Flint, Michigan. And it starts on Saturday, January the 22nd for the first of back-to-back -back weekends to kick off this brand new deal. And we, we also have the option, folks, to renew. So what that means, Cody Leedy, we have two shows a month at the bridge between January and June with the option of renewing that contract at the end of June. It's going to be huge, folks. It's going to be off the charts. Well, this is a big deal. Two shows a month. I don't know if I can cram all that entertainment in my schedule, Hal. Folks, if you've, if you've been to the bridge, you know the excitement that is generated by that awesome venue. If you have not been there, you really need to check it out. But Cody Leedy, it's a brand new era in the MWO in 2011. And with the, with the new era comes some changes, especially the MWO showdown. We're going to be changing the format here and there. We're looking for, your, looking for your input, your ideas. You can send them to our message boards at mwoidline.net. But let's go back to the bridge deal. These events, Cody Leedy, have an earlier bell time of 2 p.m. Well, 2 p.m., I mean, that's just great. That means I can get my entertainment earlier in the day so I can spend my evening going, wow, that was a good show. Absolutely, folks. You still have time to go out later on that night. And it's only five bucks for the adults, folks, and it's it's one dollar for kids ten and under. And and proceeds from the shows will benefit Kids Zone and other facilities within the bridge uh, building right there. And it's at it's at the Carmen Plaza on Corona Road and I-75, folks. It's going to be huge because we just found out as we went to air, the bridge will host its first annual SuperCard from the MWO. Yes. On Saturday, February the 26th, the Bunkhouse Brawl, folks, will be live from the bridge in Flint, Michigan. Well, this will be nothing short of spectacular. Certainly, the Bunkhouse Brawl, one of the more electric events of the year. Tons of MWO superstars making their bid to become the number one contender, Hal. Folks, we cannot be more excited. And we thank the people at the bridge for making this deal possible. And in return, they're, they're going to get some awesome, awesome action, folks. And you don't want to miss any of it. Especially that huge bunkhouse brawl. The road to Russell Rama 17 will begin at the bridge. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be huge. Well, you're not kidding, Hal. You got all these MWO superstars. Only one of them can win. It's going to be very intriguing, Hal. Absolutely. Right now, folks, we're going to send you to the bridge for a huge one-on-one -on -one matchup. We're going to see Christian Clayton. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with a very dangerous opponent in Kamash. Well, Kamash, at least in my opinion, probably one of the more underrated superstars on the MWO roster. Let's see what happens when this monster hooks up with the elite, Christian Clayton. We're, we're going to send it now to Oscar Solis Hosky, who is calling the action live at the bridge. Let's go there right now. Uh, you're telling me it's on the back of his neck. But did we take him for fleas? I don't know. All I know is I don't want to be in the ring right now. You got two serious gentlemen in that ring. I'm real serious. <laughs> you need to be serious for a moment. Woo! <laughs> I, I, I think he moved. Uh, yes, I do agree with him, Greg. There's a language barrier. <laughs> you offended him. I think you called his mother a name, but I'm not sure. Try again. Why would you tell me to say that? I'm learning this as we go, man. The Rosetta Stone. Okay, that definitely didn't work. I think I'm going to call your mom. Hey, you don't know my mom. I think. 
think David Gray should ask his money back to my Rosetta Stone. It's not helping him. I'm going to lay down. Maybe he just lay down and play dead and it'll be over quickly. I do agree with Big Little Black. Oh! He's a person. Oh! There we go. Yes, oh. 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 I, I do agree with Big Bubble Black. Well, it's a person, not a cat. I don't know what the water bottle is really going to do. I don't know. It might work. It might work. Two count by Chris Flake. Kamash able to kick out. But I will say this for Kamash. Being under, not under an apocalypse, an apocalypse thing, he had some, some serious, serious attitude. Oh, David Gray oh, trying to remind oh, Chris Layton that he was trying to win a campaign. Launch, be nice. Be nice. Be nice, Kamash. Crowd's trying to get into it, telling Kamash to be a nice person. Damon Gray giving a look like a back row trying to cheer up this place. No, no. I, I guess that's a good teamwork there. Would that be considered good uh, teamwork there as we go from Black Oaks into the tag team of uh, Texas? Sure. Okay. So, you, I thought, so, you used to be a tag team champion with none other than your former uh, cousin in that WWE, none other than Cooter Blackwell. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. I haven't seen him around. Uh, none of us here. Oh, there he is! Hey, look at Scooter! Hey, hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, strong punch. Great face. Watch out! I thought Scooter got fired. Commissioner in place of James Smiley Bird. Now here's why I feel that I should be commissioner because I have the experience. 
after six years of being in this company, after being a former MWO champion and failing to win the Great Lakes champion, I thought this is my next goal, to run Law & Order here in the Michigan Wrestling Organization. For example, Apocalypse still the champion after losing two matches? Well, there's only one way to do that, and that's to make sure that he gets good competition. But I'm sure, but but the main reason why I should be MWO Commissioner is because I am fair. And, and fairness is the only game in my opinion. Yeah. yeah! Another big time victory for Christian Clayton in singles action here. This episode of MWO Showdown, along with the Cody Leedy, I'm your old buddy Hal, and Cody Leedy does talk about a topic that is literally shaking the very foundations of this organization. We're talking about the race for the commissioner's office. Well, the only reason it's shaking the foundation is because I'm making it that way, Hal. See, I am the center of charisma when it comes to the commissionership race. Nobody else is making quite the impact that I'm making, Hal. Making an impact you certainly are, sir, because you had a huge part in that main event, that, that very controversial main event at Christmas Clash. We're going to go back here in a little bit and show you footage of Apocalypse Basher 2 that took place at Christmas Clash, which you were a part of. But Cody Leedy, six individuals, including yourself, are looking to take over the office of one James Smiley Bird, who is resigning from his position as commissioner, a position he's held for the last uh, five years or so. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the past few years or so have been some of the most boring years in MWO history, Hal. And you plan on changing that? Yes, I certainly do, Hal. Trust me, things will change under my watch. Well, let's talk about the other the other individuals who are also eyeing that that uh, that vacancy that's coming up here. High-ranking official in the MWO, folks. And this is a, a role that really calls the shots at the live events. Well, you're not kidding, Hal. I mean, these people running against me, I don't really consider them too much of a threat because I don't think any of them really have the credentials I do, Hal. Well, certainly you heard the comments earlier from one package, Andrew Steele. He's a very, very angry man at, at this point. Can he focus his attention and run a successful campaign? No, he's simply too frustrated that he keeps on losing, and he's using this as a desperate attempt to revive what little of a career he has left, Hal. What about Damon Gray? Obviously, with a knee injury of some sort, he will have some time on his hands. What are his chances, do you think, to, to become the next man in charge? See, Hal, you need to use your brain a little bit. What's his moniker? It's the smooth criminal. Do you really want him running things around here? What about Jack Price? Certainly you've seen his campaign videos. Well, Jack Price is a phenomenal in-ring performer. I'm not taking that away from him. He has all the talent in the world. Future Hall of Famer, in my opinion. But he's been in the company for under a year, Hal, as an active competitor. He has no business in the commissionership race, Hal. What about Big Bubba Blackwell? Now, certainly he has some experience and could have an edge here. Folks, he served the last few months as the acting road agent, which is a live event official. Okay, Bubba Blackwell was nothing more than a glorified substitute teacher, Hal. That's all you got to say about him? <laughs> He's not even worth any more than that, Hal. Wow. Well, Cody Leedy, what what are your promises? What do, What can you bring to the table? This is your forum. You have the advantage here because you're co-host of MWO Showdown. We're going to turn it over to you. What can you do to improve the Michigan Wrestling Organization? First of all, I will make sure Jason the Bully Klaus gets what he has coming to him for far too long. He has been intimidating others, forcing referees to quit due to hazing and promoting people like Levi Blue to join him in his bullying crusade. Also, I will make sure I shake up the foundation of the MWO, making things suck a little less each week, Hal. 